Good afternoon guys, it's Bamsul Angel here. Sorry guys, I've just been away and um, finally just like last week I got to take my finals. So I knew there was going to be some delay somewhere. I just didn't know when. So it just happened to be for um, at the <laughs> very end of the semester because it was literally like crunch time. So I uh, just thought I'd let you guys know what I was up to and then work came into play so that took some time away so other than that um i'm going to get started on this haul here um as you can see um uh, i went to uh i guess i would say um, like a variety of places this time because two of them i've actually for <laughs> i've actually forgot the names of the stores but um it was really they were really um they're really cool. I want to say makeup stores. So I've never been there before. Um, it was a pretty cool outing. outing. So um, I think I've this haul video is going to be possibly with Target. Uh, I'm trying to remember all the names. Um, Michaels, uh, Ulta Beauty, <laughs> and um, a couple of other places. I believe I went to a the bookstore, a couple of bookstores, and then as well as uh, Sprouts Market, which I've never been, well, I've only been to there like maybe a couple of times, but um, it was pretty cool and unique, so I thought that was really neat. Uh, so, all right, uh, let's get started, and hopefully you guys are happy to see me back. All right, um, let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to be actually starting off with the Michaels bags because it looks like that's probably the most that I've gotten here. So I'm not sure, I'm not, this might be a split part video because it might be really long. So I might have to do two parts to this video depending on how things go. Okay, so let's get started. And this is mostly going to be from Michaels. Uh, I'm actually looking at this stuff right now and I'm feeling like... Like, wow, like, I should have done this a long time ago, but, oh well, like, things came up. So, a lot of this is probably from back from October to November, and then now December. So, I'm just going to show you some of the things that I've got. Let's we'll start with the really big stuff here. So... Uh, I've been like really just been uh, getting my collecting stuff here and there for the, I want to say for scrapbooking. So here is the, the Raven's Head um, paper pads. And this is pretty much the samples. So let me see if I could just give you a sneak peek here. Not sure if you can see that, but hopefully we can get there. Let's see. And these are just some of the basic background designs. When I saw this, I thought it was just pretty unique. So that could be something to do, especially with um, me and having such ideas like to making another book like the way I did for um, my niece. So this would be really cool just to grab together. So there's that. Put that in. Ah! <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Let's just get this here. Okay, here we go. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so here is my next book, which I really liked because it actually had the Halloween holiday colors in here. And here are a few samples on the front. Hopefully you can get a better look here. When I saw this, I was like, oh my gosh, these look so cool. I love the designs, especially the spider webs, the bats. Just that orange and that color, man, they just go very well together. So 
So there's this. My stack of scrapbooks right there. <laughs> Here. Oh, we got a couple more. Although these are more of the, the smaller versions of it. So we got this here. I think I can actually just show you a side view of it. That just looks pretty neat. We got those. And then we have the smaller version of here. Side view. I just thought that was pretty cool. I wonder what that said. Wicked this way comes. <laughs> That's so cool. Alrighty. And then we also got here. I thought these were pretty unique, so I had to pick these up. They're just so adorable. So we actually got a couple of Halloween stamps here. I know it's like so late, but it doesn't matter to me. So. I just thought these were really cool and each of them I believe were like 150 so that was even better. Got a haunted house here. And then we got a bat, a little fruit bat. I honestly think it looks more like a fruit bat than anything. And then, of course, we got the back in here. And then the actual saying. Oops, upside down. Here we go. <laughs> Happy Halloween. And then I decided to get to. I actually wanted to try out this thing just because I've heard a lot of good reviews on it. So we'll see. And blue is my favorite color. So that's cool. And then I found a couple of these things. So these are just like some extra findings that I could probably use for deco denning or maybe for an upcoming creation project that I'll use these for. I just thought these were cool. I had to get them. Okay. Here we go. And let's see what else we have. And then, I have a couple of goodies that I found too, and some stickers. So, let's see here. We have some... Oop, focus. There you go. Some table scatters, which I thought were really unique because they have, like, that leaf shape. And then the indents on the wood. I just thought these were cool. And then we also have here some fall food crafting. And these little leaves are just so unique. Like, they're so cool. And they're actually pushed out so you can just like... push them out but knowing me I'm probably going to be using these like for clay use so these are going to be really neat and then we also got here some special harvest leaves these actually have some glitter on there to have some bedazzle <laughs> so we got those and just so happened they had some little bowls as well. So there's those. And another pair of leaves. 
Here we go. And the rest are some stickers that I had previously found in a couple of sections here and there. And these are so cute. I especially like the pop-out ones. They, they're really unique. Couple of ghosts. Some pumpkins and fall autumn leaves. Or harvest leaves, actually. More pumpkins. Some ghost some cupcakes some sparkling crows tombstones these are, these are really cool. Some glow-in-the-dark ghosts. Some really outlined fall leaves here. And lastly, some skeletons. Cool. All right, so there's that bag. And next here, I believe we have some molds. And this is probably the biggest mold. Not really big, but it's pretty good. It's a good, pretty good, decent size portion. And we have the candies mold and here's how they would look like oh they got that little design it's so cool and then next are these other molds here these are more like the holiday molds show you guys real quick so here's the front and then this is how they would look like in the back focus yeah, I hope this is like focusing for you guys okay so we got that mode And then we have, you guessed it, some candy cane molds. And here's the back. Okay. And then we have some presents here. And here's the back. I wonder why it's not, maybe it's my ear, I don't know. Hopefully it's focusing for you guys. Some gingerbread. And here's the backing. Okay. And then we also have here some snowflakes. And I know the back is plain, but inside they actually have a unique design to each of them. So that's cool. And next we 
have here some really some more of like the edible holiday uh cookie cutters so right here we have a snowman and as you can see you can push them out right here and here's the little cute design And then we also have a Christmas tree here. Oh, these are so cute. And then here we have a gingerbread man. Or a woman, doesn't matter. <laughs> and then the last two are some snowflakes, which are pretty cool. Man, this one's going to be a trip. <laughs> and this was a snowflake as well, too. I really like how the snowflakes came out. They're really, they're really unique. So there's that fake. And let's see what we got here. Oh, and then we have the last of the Christmas stuff that I got from Michael's here. So there's that bag. And here we actually have some rounded, wait, sorry about that, rounded light bulbs. And they're all clear. And at the bottom, each of them has like a little shaper so that you can like be able to put, hang them up as ornaments. So I thought these were pretty neat. I was like, I gotta get these. These look really cool. So there's those. And we also, well actually I also got here some glass ornaments. They're a little bit small, but that's okay. Because, you know. More creations, the smaller the size, the better. At least that's what I always think. So we got those. And the last of like the holiday, holiday Christmas stickers here. I thought these were unique. How cute. And then we have these here. And they actually, the stickers actually move. They're so cute. Oh my goodness. I, I cannot wait till I start doing stuff with them. It's so cool. And then these are even cuter. I was like, oh my gosh. If you can see it, the little confetti just rolling around in them. Here too. Oh, these are so adorable. And lastly, what I got from Michael's was this. Mary Berry Ashland Candle. And it like literally smells like oh, fresh oranges with the, with just a hint of winter. <laughs> so that was pretty much what I got from Michaels. So we are going to be moving on to, I guess we'll do sprouts next. So hold up. Actually, what I uh, probably am going to go over now is Dollar Tree because as I was looking at the rest of the stuff, uh, they actually kind of related to each other. So I'm just going to go over Dollar Tree here and we'll see how much time I have to do my next video or if it's going to fit in here or not. So this is actually for a project, but I never got a chance to use these, but that's okay. So these are going to probably either... Um, come in handy either with um, probably some 
scrapbook and stuff or if not that I'll definitely um, probably include this for um, my trades that I'll be doing soon I will definitely go over a video on that so I'm not gonna go into too much detail about it right now so there's that I got that from Dollar Tree I thought that was a pretty good deal for all those labels makers and then we also have some awesome stickers here that I found from Dollar Tree and this is Star Wars I believe it's The Resistance and I like I just thought they were cool so I was like yes I gotta get these so there's those and then I found some Hello Kitty these were too cute. I couldn't pass these up. I saw them and I was like, I gotta get them. So, yes. I got those. And the last thing that I got from Dollar Tree was... I thought these were pretty cool. I actually did look these up on Amazon to see what the stories were about. And even then I was like, oh, like they sound interesting. So, we got this book here. I even thought the cover was um, captivating too, so. Oh, you still got the backing on it. <laughs> and here's, I'll freeze it for you. Hopefully I can get this in focus. Oh, here we go. And you can just pause it right there. Here's the side view. Okay, so that's my first book that I thought was interesting. And next we got here, this actually is, wait, is that a stem? Yeah, this is stem. Okay, and these ones actually came with some other series. Up, uh, Yeah, this is um, book two. And the backing seems really interesting, so you can pause that. And then here are the other three that follow along with it. And a side view. Hmm. I thought that one was pretty unique too. Ah, there goes my book. And the last book that I happened to pick up was Summer Friends. And here's the back. And the side view. So there's that. So that was all that I got from Dollar Tree, and this was previously at a comic book store, and I like totally was trying to go for a comic book, but unfortunately, you know, it just didn't happen, because apparently I'm still trying to find a book that I'm interested, so instead I wound up getting like an ice cube tray but it was made out of silicone so when I saw it I was like <gasps> like oh my gosh like I literally got like excited when I saw it so they on they only had two and I was like oh my gosh like I need to check these carefully before anything so I wound up getting one and this was pretty much a Star Wars ice cube tray made out of silk made out of silicone and here is here are the ships I was like oh my gosh I can't believe it I literally was like I was all excited I was just like I was all hyped <laughs> so and then here's all the inside books if you can kind of tell I was like oh my goodness so when I saw this I was like I have to get it <laughs> I was like, I can't believe, like, I was going there for a freaking comic book, but I wound up getting this instead. I was like, oh my gosh, so typical. <laughs> but hey, man, I was like, it was, it was either this or the other thing, so I was like, forget this. I was like, I'll get that. <laughs> so, I was, I was really pretty happy about that. Alright, you guys, it's already, um...
Well, maybe I could fit one more in here. Okay, so we'll do this one next. Actually, no. We're going to cut this short, and then I'll just include the next couple of packages in my next video, and as well as the last of the haul that I got from Target, a makeup store, and then as well as Sprouts. So, all right, that's going to be it for this video. We'll continue on to part two. Look forward to it coming up very soon. All right. Absolute Angel. You'll see me later.